Hi there, my name is Teacher Ilona and today we are going to be learning about the three environments when we talk about business studies. So stay tuned, I'm going to give an overview of the three environments and all their factors. Right, so as mentioned, there are three environments. Three environments here. The first environment is the micro environment. The second environment is the macro. And then the third environment is the market environment. So these are the three environments that you get when it comes to business management and business studies. So we're going to further go into these topics and look further in depth into them. So it's important to note that the micro environment is internal. When you go up to the macro and the market environment, they are both external. So it's important to remember that the micro is internal and the macro market are both external. So I'm going to draw a diagram over here where you can see all of the environments and, and how they fit together. So in the middle you have the micro environment. You have the micro environment in the middle, like that. You then have the macro, my apologies, the market environment. And then lastly, you have the macro environment. So there are all three environments. The way I like to remember it is it looks almost like the earth where you have the core of the earth going out. So the micro, as you can see here, it is internal, it's in the middle. You have then the market and then the macro. And as we mentioned, again, I'm just going to write here internal and these are both external. Right, so that's all the environment, and that's the diagram, that's how it's depicted. We're then going to move on to their factors of each environment and things to note. Right, so we're going to start off with the micro environment. With the micro environment, this is the business it's itself, as I mentioned, internal. So with the micro environment, factors you'll look at is the vision, mission, and the objectives. So that's the first factor you're going to consider. The second factor is the organizational structure. All right, then the third one is the organizational culture. Fourth one is the organizational resources. The fifth one is management and leadership. And then important to note, the micro environment is controllable. So you're able to control the micro environment because it's internal within the business. You can control the organizational structure, the culture, the vision and mission. 
All right, so that's the micro environment. I am going to do another video where we will explain the micro environment in detail. We then move on to the market environment. And what do we say about market environment? It's external. With the market environment, we look at the following factors. We look at obviously the market, which are the consumers. All right. We then look into suppliers. Third one we look into is intermediaries. Fourth one is competitors. Fifth one is other organizations. So that's the market environment. And these are the factors included within the market environment. It's important to note with the market environment, you cannot control it but you can influence it. So with the market environment, you cannot control what happens in the market environment, but you can influence it. You can change your suppliers. You can look at your target audience. So we're going to divulge into more detail with this, with further lessons and videos, but that's the market environment. It's important to remember that it can be influenced but not controlled. All right, then lastly, we are going to speak about the macro environment. So with the macro environment, I'm gonna mention again, it is external. It is outside, external, like the market environment. With the macro environment, I'm then going to speak about all the factors involved within the macro environment. So the first thing we're going to look at is the physical and natural resources. All right, we are then going to look at the economic environment. I'm going to look at the social, cultural and demographic environment. We are then at the technological environment. The legal and political environment. The international and global environment. Lastly, the institutional environment. All right, so there are all their environments and all of their factors. I forgot to mention with the macro environment, this is not influenced, nor can it be controlled. So 
for the macro environment, we have no control over these factors down over here. So we can see the micro, market, and macro environments, as well as the mini diagram and whether they are internal or external. So stay tuned. In my videos coming up, we will be discussing the micro environment, further discussing the market environment, and then lastly discussing the macro environment and moving so on and so forth. So there's an overview. It might look a little bit messy. <laughs> There's an overview of all the three environments that are involved in business management. So I'd like to thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate the support. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I'm willing to help. I don't mind if there's something you don't understand, a topic you would like me to go over, please let me know in the comments down below. Please hit that like button if you like this video. Please consider subscribing my, to my channel as we'll be providing business management lessons, extra lessons, diving into topics, and further all into business management as this is my specialization and also my dear passion. So thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you guys found it impactful and it assisted you guys. And I hope you guys have an awesome week further. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye for now.